Come beat the heat at LA's Ice Cream Social. We'll be talking with some of LA's most inventive ice cream makers, and we'll all get to taste their delicious creations. July 31st at the Crawford. Tickets at LA's.com slash events. On Imperfect Paradise, discover the stories of mountain lions, coyotes, and bears. What do our interactions with these predators reveal about our values and fears? Listen to Imperfect Paradise wherever you listen to podcasts. Today on the LA Report. Los Angeles County Courts reopen after a two-day closure caused by a ransomware attack. One of the biggest companies purchasing and renting out single-family homes agrees to a big money settlement. These companies are buying up suburban America. And you'll find out where you can spot glowing fireworms off a local beach. Good morning, it's Tuesday, July 23rd. I'm Suzanne Watley, and you're listening to the LA Report from LAS 89.3. The Los Angeles County Superior Court system is expected to reopen today with what it describes as limited functionality. It was closed Friday and Monday to remedy a ransomware attack. Officials say there is no evidence that user data has been compromised. McKenna Sievertson reports the attack is not believed to be connected to the crowd strike outage that affected computers involving flights and hospitals and businesses around the world. Court officials called the cyber attack unprecedented in a statement, saying they had to shut down nearly every network system over the weekend to limit the damage. The California Governor's Office of Emergency Services is investigating who's behind the breach, along with local, state, and federal law enforcement agencies. Operations at the L.A. Superior Court is slowly recovering, so folks should expect delays or should consider waiting until next week to do court business. Vice President Kamala Harris is now the presumptive Democratic nominee with endorsements accumulating over the past day. Professor of Politics at Pomona College Sarah Sadwani says there are opportunities to distinguish herself from Republican nominee Donald Trump. Her background as a prosecutor actually could come in handy, showing the stark difference between her role as a top cop versus that of Donald Trump, who is now a convicted felon. Harris served as District Attorney of San Francisco and then Attorney General of California between 2011 and 2017. One of the biggest companies buying up and renting out single-family homes has agreed to pay $20 million to a long list of California cities. Reporter David Wagner explains why. Invitation Homes wants to settle claims that renovations in its California rental homes were routinely done without permits. The lawsuit alleges cities missed out on permitting fees and tenants were exposed to potentially faulty work. Vincent McKnight is one of the attorneys who brought the case forward. These companies are buying up suburban America. If they're going to be involved in that business, they need to do it right, do it properly, and protect the renters. As part of the settlement agreement, Invitation Homes admits no wrongdoing. The company settled a separate California case earlier this year over alleged illegal rent hikes. For LAist, I'm David Wagner. The mayor of Riverside says the Hawarden fire that's been burning since Sunday was started by illegal fireworks. Evacuation orders have been lifted, but the fire has destroyed six homes, damaging several others, injuring two people. At last check, the fire has burned more than 527 acres. It's 40 percent contained. Crews, meantime, have almost contained the Eagle Fire. That one has charred more than 1,700 acres. Governor Newsom announced yesterday FEMA funding has been granted to assist with local, state, and tribal agencies affected by the fires. It has been hot, record-breaking, in fact, across the state, mostly in inland areas, but we have not been hit with flex alerts. Those are calls to conserve energy or with rolling power outages. LAist's Aaron Stone explains why. It's because the state has nearly doubled its amount of battery storage in just the last two years. That's kept the grid stable during hot evenings when solar power declines, according to the state's grid operator. The last time we had flex alerts was September 2022. The state avoided rolling power outages because people heeded the call to conserve energy. So the real test will come in August and September, the hottest times of year. For LAist, I'm Erin Stone. Coming up, glowing green fireworms and where to find them. Summer is in full swing and it's hot. So cool down with a sweet cold treat at LAist's Ice Cream Social. 
LA is the food and culture editor, Gab Chabran, and How to LA host, Brian De Los Santos, are hosting a chat with some of LA's most inventive ice cream makers, and we'll all get to taste their delicious creations. It's July 31st at the Crawford in Pasadena. Get your tickets at LAist.com slash events. On Imperfect Paradise, mountain lions, coyotes, and bears. How do our attitudes towards these predators reflect our culture, values, and fears? Learn about the complex and often surprising relationships between humans and wildlife. The famous feline known as P-22. There is a new breed of coyote in the neighborhood. It's not the bears that are the problem, it's the people. Listen to Imperfect Paradise wherever you listen to podcasts. Back now to the L.A. Report. Social media videos last week showed glowing green fireworms streaking through Newport Beach's waters. Yusra Farzan reports on how these non-native creatures could be here to stay. The glow is part of the fireworms' mating ritual, when female worms swim to the surface to release a puff of glowing mucus containing their eggs. Fireworms are not native to Southern California, preferring the warmer waters of the Caribbean, though rising temperatures mean they could become a permanent fixture. If you want to catch a glimpse, your best chance is during the summer. They're typically found in warm, clean, still waters and are best spotted around 40 minutes after sunset during the quarter moon. For LAist, I'm Yusra Farazan. Former Dodger Adrian Beltre has been inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame in Cooperstown, New York, along with three others. Beltre was one of the game's greatest third basemen. He led this year's class with 95% of the vote from the Baseball Writers Association of America. It was his first year on the ballot. Taking a look at temperatures today, highs will be in the 80s to lower 90s from the beaches into downtown Los Angeles. In the San Fernando Valley, from 96 to 103. The range in the San Gabriel Valley will be 92 to 100. Santa Clarita Valley highs as warm as 104 and up to 105 in the Antelope Valley. And in our low desert communities, there's a slight chance of thunderstorms and a high temperature forecast of 114. Temps are expected to peak tomorrow and Thursday. for listening to the LA Report. You can read more news at laist.com or listen live anytime on the LAist app or on the radio at 89.3 FM. The AM edition is hosted and produced by me, Suzanne Watley, with assistance from producer Tyler Wayne. Our engineer is Federico Garcia Rodriguez. Catherine Mailhouse is the director of content development. LAist's executive editor is Megan Garvey, original music by Scott Kelly. Check back here at 4 for the PM edition. Listeners like you help make the LA Report possible. Please donate at laist.com slash join. And the LA Report is supported by Gordon and Donna Crawford, who believe quality journalism makes Southern California a better place to live. Hi, this is Larry Mantle. And I'm Desmond Mantle, his son. Together, we have a new podcast, Passing the Mantle. I grew up listening to my dad host Air Talk, and now I get to sit down with him in the studio to talk about what inspires us and makes us curious. We'll dive into societal trends and how they've changed over generations. Discussing it all through the lens of father and son. Join us. Subscribe to Passing the Mantle from LA Studios wherever you listen to podcasts.